Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. I thought I'd hit you guys with another episode of Bob TV and give you another 10 minutes of bomber building action. Plus I had some questions on this deal I wanted to get <laughs> cleared up. Okay, these linear servos, okay, they come with these little deals here that pretty much make them work like a servo, okay. But to keep them in sync, old Butch had one of his buddies, one of his electrical genius buddies, whoop us up this monitor deal. No, it wasn't sharp pencil. This guy's like, makes sharp pencil look like he's got Down syndrome. <laughs> Not really, Paul, but a little bit. <laughs> but anyway. Okay, what this does is plugs in to a 12 volt battery. This one does right there, and this one plugs into the receiver. He even had to change the pulse on it because it uh, something wasn't reading right or something, so he had to get this pulse stretcher and to make it work right. But what it does is it actually monitors both of these huge old servos okay and they both work at the same time but if one of them should happen to get jammed up the other one stops okay then you just pull your switch back to your fully swept out position and uh, push this reset button okay what we're probably going to do is rig up a servo in the plane on the second transmitter that uh, we can push that and that will make both servos go boom, all the way back out to the swept out position even if, if one of them got jammed up when it was going in and the other one had to stop and they are a little bit off all we got to do is push that push the switch back to the full uh, out position hit this reset button brrr, they both go all the way back to where you can land it you know, and we shouldn't ever end up with a one wing out, one wing in uh, type situation. Someone else asked if it takes more for force to sweep them or pull them forward. Actually, believe it or not, it takes more force to sweep them back because they, you know, they get a, like a suction behind them. And it takes more force to sweep them back than it does up. But regardless, man. It ain't nothing stopping these servos. That's 150 pounds of torque. We should be able to lay this thing on its side and hit that servo and that wing will lift it up. <laughs> you know, so we got, we got, we're way overkill on everything, people. I'd rather do that than, uh, you know, end up short on something else. And I thought of a way to test these air servos. Check this out, people. Hey, Paul, I didn't really meant you had Down syndrome. <laughs> I'm just saying, this guy's got everybody outranked, man. He should ought to be, he ought to work for NASA. You go over to his house, you'd know what I mean. <laughs> okay, that's the air cylinder I just took out. Now, I did not take it apart, but I wanted to test to make sure it did not leak before I put it back in, okay? So, uh, I just hooked that up to my pump. My pump's got a pressure gauge on it. Now watch it suck in. Okay. Now that's got 20, what about, 30 pounds of pressure in it. Bump it up to 50 pounds. And uh, it's holding fast. I left it on there for about 30 minutes. It didn't lose any. So this air cylinder is good to go. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I'm not going to take it apart. Uh, it's holding pressure and we're good to go. And I'm thinking about running through all of my air cylinders tonight. As a matter of fact, and uh, making sure they're hold pressure. This one I can't mess with till tomorrow. But I am going to check it before I put it back in. Okay? I'm going to do something else for you guys. And I sure hope no one sees it. Alright? But I'm going to take the bullet. I'm going to bite the bullet for you guys. And I'm going to do something that I'm, I hope I'm not 
seen by anybody. <laughs> okay. Oh, y'all know I used to race them airplanes. He had to have a helmet. So I got me a helmet here. I'm going to take it a little dusty. I'm going to take it in the house, clean it up. And when I go fly this foamy, I might go out this evening. It's been raining all day, but it stopped. Uh, I'm going to tape, I'm going to take some duct tape, and I'm going to take this camera to that forehead and give y'all the helmet cam. So y'all just <laughs> might be able to catch some few more glimpses of the baby B1 flying. But old Lip Ripper has got his done. You see, now this is where I got this thing flying. Okay, old Lip Ripper Dave. See them bolts? There's my wing bolts go straight. And then see where my CG is compared to the wing bolts. That is where this flew with the wing swept back. Okay, and that's where I'm except I was still a little nose heavy. So I took the quarter out and I put me a dime in there. And uh, that should fly right there. That should, that should fly good. And I had ailerons and up and I even did a loop. But the, the, the situation I had is what made me take another quarter out. It was I would come out of a turn or something and I'd be in a down angle and I'd have to pull up, pull up, pull up and then it would want to jerk. So I got to where I can just, you know, kind of bump it and get it level. So that was telling me it's still a little bit nose heavy. So uh, I took that quarter out and I just put me a dime in there. And I want to go chuck it again. And uh, if there ain't no one there to videotape it, I'm going to take some duct tape. And I'm going to take this camera to my head. And... Uh, Give you guys some Bobo vision with the helmet cam <laughs> with the flight of the baby B1 bomber. These are flying pretty good, people. These are what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to buy. If you guys are still interested, you guys give us some shout outs if you're really interested. Send me a message. But we're going to buy a whole bunch of this board in uh, big quantity. And we get it a little cheaper than buying it at the hobby shop. And then we're going to have it silk screened, okay, with the panel lines and uh, everything, the outline of the plane, and uh, sell kits off of that. And uh, yeah, I think they're pretty cool. And we're going to get them flying, and that way y'all can get involved and help us with some of these issues. The more we get flying, the more info we get, the better off everybody is, right? So what do y'all think? Give me a thumbs up if everyone wants a B1 bomber, a baby B1 bomber. All it takes is two little servos, a little receiver, motor, and a speed controller. Now the ones we're thinking about making are going to be 30% bigger than this. That's going to give it about, I think it about 46 inches long, something like that, where this is 36. So I'll make it a little bigger. Yeah, this is 35 inches long. And we're going to make it about 46, I believe. And then that'll take like a 300 motor. This is a Park Flyer 250. So it'll take like a, a 300. Still a small battery, two servos, and a speed controller. Bam, you're in the air. Got the baby B1. So let us know. If y'all want us to make some of them, thumbs up, thumbs down, and uh, we'll do it. But it's just going to cost a little bit to buy all that stuff and uh, get it silk screened. But uh, I think they'll come out pretty cool. I think Butch said we could even get that board in gray. So there won't even be no painting involved. And we'll have all the panel lines made and little in the cells. And they'll, uh, I think they'll be cool. Uh -huh. This one's flying pretty good. This one's going to fly better next time. So let me know. I mean, that's about all I got for you. And uh, if another one pops up, another episode pops up tonight, it'll be me at the flying field with the Bobo cam. Ready for some bomber flying action. Oh, yeah, that's my helmet. <laughs> so catch, tune in later for some more Bob TV. Same Bob time, same Bob station.